Now the next pilum is Ascomycota. It is the one of the biggest pilum and the largest pilum that comprises of uh, many number of uh, fungi. So almost 70% of the fungi that comes under Ascomycota group only. Now we will see first general characters of Ascomycota. My name is Anit Shankar Reddy and I am doing PhD plant pathology in Anomal University. So coming to the general characters, this Ascomycota, sorry, this Ascomycota group of fungi is otherwise called as sac fungi. So otherwise called as sac fungi. So cell wall is made up of cell, uh, sorry, chitin plus glucan. It's a combination of chitin plus glucan. Here the mycelium is very well developed and septate type of mycelium can be observed in Ascomycota group of fungi. Here the most dominant on the uh, diagnostic symptom is crozier formation. Crozier formation is the identification and dog, dominant, uh, uh, diagnostic feature of Ascomycota group of fungi. But clamp connection and doliposa receptor are absent. Now we will see in, in uh, Bacidio Mycota the clamp, what is clamp connection and doliposa receptor that will come. So here the crozier connection is crozier formation is only present in Ascomycota whereas clamp connection and doliposa receptor are absent in Ascomycota. So whereas the spores are produced in a sac-like structure, so almost all fungi are look like to sac-like structure, that is called a sac fungi. So spores are produced in a sac-like structure called ascus. Sac-like structure called ascus. Each ascus contains eight number of ascospores. That is the one next dominant, uh, sorry, next diagnostic feature. Yeah, all ascomycota group of fungi contains eight name produce eight number of ascospores except a few. Almost most of the fungi that comes under Ascomycota will produce 8 number of Ascospore. So uh, Ascomycota can reproduce by means of both sexual and asexual reproduction. Here asexual reproduction is by means of a fragmentation, budding and conidiogenesis. Uh, uh, Ascomycota group of fungi produce conidia as asexual spores and Ascospores as sexual spores. Here the male gametangium is Antheridium and the female gametangium is called Ascogonium. Sexual spores are conidia, asexual spores are Ascospores. Here there are three types of ascocor, not three types, mostly four types. It is a clistothesium. These are sexual fruiting bodies. Clistothesium, perithesium, apothesium, or ascostroma is a sexual fruiting bodies which is produced by ascomycota group of fungi. Now we will see one in detail, uh, one by one. Uh, before that we will see what is ascai. It is a spherical elongated with a cylindrical ovoid or global form. So it is very simple. Ascai is a, st a, a structure that bears ascospores. We will see. This long structure is called ascus. It contains eight number of ascospores. We can see here, light brown to black colors things are ascospores, which are packed inside the ascai. So almost all ascomycota contains eight ascospores. Produce eight number of ascospores. Here now we will see the different types of fruiting bodies uh, uh, produced by ascomycota group of fungi. First one is clistothesium. It is see this fruiting body is rather called asco. Ascoma or Ascocarp Ascomycota, these are produced by the Ascomycota. We will see first one is Clistothesium. Clistothesium means this is the Clistothesium, it is a globular or completely closed Ascocarp. There is no opening can be seen here. It is a completely closed Ascocarp, it is called Clistothesium. How the uh, then uh, now if we get into this, if we see this, then how the spores, if we get a doubt on this, how the spores are released. Uh, so here upon the maturation what will happen the walls get dissolved and the spores are bursted and released out. Uh, this is the uh, way how the clistothesium are uh, uh, packed up. It is a completely closed ascocarp is called clistothesium. Completely closed ascocarp is called clistothesium. Now apothesium. You will see this is the apothesium. It is a shocker shaped uh, completely closed ascocarp. Actually shocker shaped is look like this. It is a shocker shaped completely opened ascocarp soccer shaped completely opened as you can see the ascai where ascospores are packed inside you can see here how many number of ascai are packed with ascospores you can see it it is a completely opened ascocarp with soccer shape soccer shape that is called apothecium example pezizales and helicotials are comes under apothecium group now we'll see perithesium this is a perithesium see it is a flask shaped or partially opened ascocarp it look like a flask shaped but there is a small opening or partial opening is called this partial opening is called osteol this partial opening is called osteol so where the spores are released out from the osteol where the spores are released out from the osteol here the perithesium is a flask shaped fruiting body flask shaped fruiting body with partially opened ascocarp with partially opened ascocarp example spiropsis uh, sorry uh, 
spirals and hypocrial circumstances are peritheseum then last one is the naked eye naked eye which means ascae are not produced on the surface whereas this naked eye ascae are not produced on any surface that is a naked eye <laughs> so, this is clistothesium completely closed apothecium soccer shape completely open this is peritheseum partially open with a small slit or opening called ostium this is naked eye clistothesium this is clistothesium completely closed apothecium completely open peritheseum partially open this is naked eye sphincter then one of the as i told you that the dominant uh, identification character of uh, diagnostic feature is crozier formation or ascus formation now we'll see in diagrammatic representation what will happen very simple why this process is uh, happening there is a short gap or interface between plasmogamy and karyogamy in this small gap what will happen formation of ascae so this is the diagnostic feature in, in there is a small gap in between plasmogamy and karyogamy in that small gap what will happen this small interface or uh, gap takes place in between plasmogamy and karyogamy where ascae or ascus are gen are produced this process is called ascogenesis the formation of ascus is called ascogenesis now we will see the process initially see we can start with here initially Uh, the hypha contains a nuclei of different types where a crook or crozier like formation can be seen here after that what will happen the nuclei can divide equally and migrates into the crook like structure after migration to the crook like sector a septa can be formed here after the formation of septa what will happen the nuclei can divide separately so after that meiosis 1 will take so what will happen meiosis meiosis is the reduction division the 2 will become 4 here after meiosis 2 the 4 will become 8 here so now you can see eight number of ascospores in an ascae uh, this is the crozier formation that takes place uh, you know uh, the short interface or gap formed in between plasmogamy and casio uh, uh, plasmogamy and karyogamy uh, this is about um, crozier formation otherwise called as ascus formation or free cell formation